we are getting straight into it wasting no time as you guys can see here this is the inside of the wig with the combs but i went ahead and cut those out using my small handheld scissors because it gives your wig a flatter look so i went ahead and cut those out i highly recommend you guys try that fun little step out y'all look at my little chicken head like i was like oh my gosh look like a bald little chicken <laughs> With my edges slicked back, which y'all gotta slick the edges back so that your bald cap, you're not having any worries about getting any product on your edges. You wanna slick those all the way back. I'm using a Cipro and Ebon Wonder Skin Protectant. I don't really use Skin Protectant, but I'm starting to use it now just to protect my skin and to get a cleaner feel with my bald caps and my wigs. So once that's all done, I'm going to put on my bald cap and I'm gonna stretch her far far out so it can just be really really flat and take my scissors and cut around my ears so that when we start melting this cap it can be really really flat okay i've been looking back and studying my old videos and just seeing how i did my wigs before like you know a couple months ago or a year ago even because i feel like my wigs looked a lot better a lot more clean and just polished like of course i'm always do my big one but i just feel like my wigs back then looked a lot better so with my bald cap i'm pushing the spray a little bit further down than i usually would usually i just keep it right in front of my hairline but i went a little bit further down because i realized in my older videos my bald cap was a bit lower and i feel like that gave the wig a cleaner more polished look so that's what we're going to do so that's how much spray i have on my hairline and my forehead and then I'm going to blow dry that on a cool high setting for three minutes okay usually I won't let it dry for that long but I really wanted this to be super melted and not have any of that cap sticking up or not laying flat so I'm cutting off all of that extra cap and look at that seamless if you know you know usually I'll be having to re glue down the sides but I think it's because me blow drying it for a longer period of time and also Wait, what else did I do? Oh, I cleaned off my skin before doing my bald cap. Usually, wait, do I usually do that? I don't know if I'm tweaking right now, but I feel like I don't do that. I might be tweaking, but I feel like I only clean my skin off after my bald cap. So cleaning the skin off before and after the bald cap definitely helped with this cap laying super, super, duper, 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 duper flat. And in the back, I'm just cutting that piece there directly in the middle. And then I'm going to tie that in a double knot. Nothing too tight, but tight enough to where it's keeping all the hair in the back in place. And yeah, keeping the cap in place as well. So I'll just tie that, then I cut that off. And then boom, let's get into the products we're going to be using to make this bod cap a bod cap. So I'm using Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation in the shade RD15, which is what I always use. And I'm placing this um, product along the bod cap and also a little bit on my skin i got that tip from tiktok and she snapped with that i don't know who that was but shout out to her because yeah if you put it on your skin as well as the cap it kind of just makes sure you get every piece of that cap but don't worry you're still going to clean that off okay with your a sip or alcohol or whatever you'd like to use like how i'm doing here and the bod cap was giving okay i thought i was going to use that ruby kisses um hd concealer but i did not i just went with the root because it's cream foundation in shade 15 since it is a little lighter and i didn't want my bod cap to be too dark so now that this wig is on i'm going to take some pieces and get it aligned with my ears so i can see where to cut around i personally like to do this step so that i can know where to apply my glue and it's just more comfortable honestly when i'm applying my wig so i make sure to just cut around exactly where my ear is and if you're in decent lighting you can pretty much see where your ear is and where to cut around now i'm going to take my hot comb and just push this hairline back this just gives the hairline a really really clean look before actually installing the wig so i just like to push it back and when it came to this wig i did not pluck it a whole lot i did pluck it for sure but i didn't go crazy because i know with mega look hair wigs their hairline comes pretty plucked pretty pre-plucked so i didn't have to go too crazy with the plucking and i recommend you guys don't go too crazy with the plucking because it will look over plucked so be light-handed and don't do too much because the hairline is pretty much perfect when it comes out of the box after bleaching because i do like to bleach my knots okay with colored wigs even okay i always bleach my knots 
So here I am using my glue. I usually would just take it straight from the bottle and apply it to and around my cap. But since this cap is broken, like it busted open, I just like squeeze it out and apply it on this little spatula part of my edge brush that's on the back, not the back, but the end of it. So I'm taking like, mm, I wouldn't say a super small amount, but you never wanna take too much glue cause then it's gonna get messy and it's gonna be really hard for it to dry down clear. So I'm taking a decent amount of glue and I love to put it right above my ear. Y'all see that little wet spot over there, the white spot? Yeah, y'all wanna make sure to get your glue there so that when you have your wig on, like the sideburns and like the wig part, the lace part that's near your ear is super melted down. You guys don't want to miss that step. But I did three layers of this glue and with the first layer, I did not blow dry it down because this glue dried down clear pretty fastly so yeah this is my third layer i did three i already said that <laughs> i did three okay but yeah if you wanted this wig or if you want your wig to lay down and be melted for a longer period of time definitely use five to six to eight layers most glues you can do that with i just wanted three because this wig i didn't want it to be down for a super long time but i did want it to be melted okay so you guys can see that the glue is drying down you never want to apply your wigs unless the glue is clear okay you want it to be clear like you see at the top of my head so i'm just smoothing it out smoothing it out smoothing it out on the hairline a little bit on the cap on my skin as well so it can be really really melted and that lace is looking like it's growing out of our scalp and I am going to blow dry this last layer on a cool high setting not for very long though and it is time to take our wig pull it forward and apply it into the glue you don't have to rush with this because the glue is not going to dry down it's going to remain sticky okay as long as it is tacky and not dry it down you want to make sure it's tacky right so now that it's tacky well i said tacky like seven times in the span of 30 seconds but anyways i'm stretching out my skin here because i see my seen somebody do that on tiktok too like stretch out the skin and then apply the lace so that i can give like a facelift type vibe and i don't know i i can't really tell you if it made a difference or not but i did it and if you want to try it go for it because i just be trying shit honestly like who doesn't want a little facelift okay but Anyways, the lace is positioned where I want it to be. So now I'm gonna take the palm of my hands and really press that glue into the lace and into my skin. I'm being pretty firm with this. I'm not being heavy handed, but I am going to make sure it is pressed in. I'm going to just pat and press, pat and press a couple of times to ensure that it is melted. And then to just, I don't know why I did this. I'll just be doing stuff, okay? Like, honestly. <laughs> I can't tell you why I took my hot comb and applied it to the hairline. I guess for it to just be more pushed back. You don't have to do this step. I'll just be doing stuff. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just pushing, push, well, pushing, <laughs> pushing the hairline back a bit. And then I'm going to take this mega look hair band, which you guys will get in the mail too if you guys purchase them. And also that edge brush that you guys seen me use. I have to pin pin my hair up because yeah if you know you know like <laughs> trying to put on a band with the hair down especially if it's a lot of hair it just gets in the way it's irritating so i'll just put that up and i'm going to tighten it so 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 much okay i tighten it really really hard and tie it in a slight double knot to ensure that it stays in place and i'm gonna let that sit for 30 minutes y'all i know usually i say 10 minutes but i'm not doing that anymore 30 minutes yeah, my little crush had called me. He blocked now, but that's for another story, another day. Um, yeah, so y'all about to see me here chatting in this little part of the video, moving my lips and stuff, because I know I've been pretty still. But anyways, I just cut off all that extra lace because it was in my way, in my face, in my peripheral. I cannot see what I was doing. So I took this inspo picture from Pinterest so I can really kill the side part one more time okay because i feel like uh, my side parts they haven't been that 10 out of 10 look that i usually give so 
I took the inspo picture and that is the type of part and the baby hairs that we're gonna go for. So I'm just making sure to curve it, curve this part out to like a C shape. And since this was a deep 13 by four parting, it was not hard to do at all. And I'm just getting it to the point where I like it, taking some from the back to make sure it is cohesive and looking put together, okay? But yeah, I find when I look at pictures while I'm doing my hair, it comes out really, really good. Like I just look at the picture, and mimic it and i highly recommend you guys do that too i mean that's probably what y'all do while watching my videos like yeah just mimic what i'm doing you guys seriously but i'm taking my care care wax stick and i'm smoothing that out on top of the hair and then i'm going to take my hot comb and press it out press it out press it out i kind of have to work extra hard with making this wig flat because my braids are pretty old and it's poofy now so it's like my bald cap up underneath isn't super flat like my hair so i was putting in extra arm and elbow work to make sure that this wig looked pretty flat so i hop comb this for a very 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 long time y'all if you want your installs to look like it was professionally done definitely do the extra steps that you wouldn't normally do like pressing it out in the back so that it's cohesive with the front. And when you're doing a side part or even a middle part, taking pieces and sections one by one and hot combing them so that it can be really, really flat, okay? And just look really put together. You don't have to use a wax stick on every section because then it can appear oily and just like, you know, oily. <laughs> so I only take it near the front and then I'm going to part the hair directly in the middle and then hot comb that section and press it out. And yeah, like this is just going to make it look like it was professionally done because it's not bulky at all. It's looking really put together and neat. Definitely do not skip these steps if you want it to look put together and not just look like it's your first day putting on a wig, okay? Installing a wig. So yeah, we let that melt for 30, se um, 30 seconds, girl, boo. 30 minutes after that 30 minutes was up i'm taking my razor and tell me why i've been using the razor wrong for all these years y'all use the razor pushing it down like how i did just there in the last clip go play that back if you need me to but right here y'all see me doing it i'm just pushing the razor down so it's going to naturally give a zigzag look without it being forced and it also just gets it closer to the skin and the lace as well so <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what I've been doing all this time, but I'm telling y'all, TikTok be putting me on because I've seen the girl using the razor this way. I said, wait a minute, I need to do that. So yeah, don't be worried if some of the lace comes off with the hair on it when taking off your lace and cutting it down because it just did not need to be there. I'm taking my tweezers and I'm just plucking it a little bit on this side because I feel like it just looked a little bit messy. So I want it to look cleaner and I just plucked a little bit, nothing crazy, just so it can look more, I don't know, thin. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was going for. So I'm really wanting to get close to this lace and cut off any extra pieces that does not need to be there. So I'm cutting that piece off and some pieces like the end part will be lifting a little bit. So I'm taking a tiny bit of glue and I'm going to remelt those pieces. You don't have to do a lot of layers. You can just remelt it with one little layer, push that down and let that dry on its own and yeah on this side i did use my blow dryer to let it dry down because it was a little white so i'm going to put that down and then blow dry it until that white cast of the glue goes away white casty vibe away from this lace i'm going to use this fluffy brush it's like an eyeshadow brush and then um this ruby kisses hd concealer in cappuccino frappuccino it's one of those <laughs> link down below okay don't 
quote me on the name of it. It's one of those. But yeah, I'm putting that around the lace. And you guys can see it made a drastic difference. It looks more like my skin now. I'm using my Ebon Wonder Melting Spray. And I'm going to be tapping this around my lace. And it's not the one in the black can. It's going to be the new version in the bottle, which will be linked down below for you guys as well. But I'm just tapping that around the lace. And I'm going to let that get tacky for about 30 seconds. Pin my hair up again and melt this for 20 minutes. I did, whoa, <laughs> restart. I decided to do longer time periods for melting down the lace just so the lace can really disappear. I feel like 10 minutes just doesn't do it. So doing it for a long period of time, I feel like really locks in all that product and the makeup and the melting band just to get it to really just look supernatural. And I find that it has definitely helped. So yeah, we're gonna let that sit. Got my timer set, y'all make sure you have your timer or just watching the clock. And I'm using my Chi Iron Guard and I'm going to spray that on the front of the hair because the rest of the hair, if you're new here, you don't know. But when I have straight wigs, I like to straight, straighten them on my mannequin head just so that I can make sure I get every piece of the strand so everything's looking silky and smooth. And then in the front, I just part out the frontal and just leave that as is until I actually put the wig on. So everything is pretty much flat ironed except the front. So I'm using my Babyliss Pro Titanium Flat Iron and I'm just pressing that through this hair using my comb to do the chase method in some areas. And yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm so happy with how my hair is coming out. No lie. Cause it's just been so long, like it's been a month since I put on a new fucking wig, so it's like, it feels good, okay. It feels great. Get that effortless part look that is like cohesive with your baby hairs you're going to want to carve your part in the front and kind of push it towards the front and pull out hairs from the front to curve it even deeper if that makes sense so i'm pulling out these hairs in the front and those hairs are going to be used for the baby hairs because i really just hate the look of baby hairs to sit on the side of my head like i need it to be in the front a little bit and cohesive with the part so i always make sure to take hairs from the front and yeah i'm still looking at that reference picture for the baby hairs and the layout of what i'm going to do Still pulling out hairs from the part, I mean, yeah, from the front. Still pulling out hairs from the front as well. And I'm just trying to ensure that I'm not having too much hair because I don't want to have too much hair in my baby hairs for the side part. I don't like how it looks. I feel like it looks bulky and like it's just doing too much. So I'm really focusing and trying to get the perfect amount of baby hairs. And once I have it laid out of pretty much how many how much hairs I want. I'm going to take my hot comb and press these hairs out in the front as well as the hair going towards the back. But I'm being super precise with this because I want these hairs to lay extremely flat once it's time to lay them down and just look really neat. So I'm hot combing them, pressing them out really, really well here. I just want y'all to know like the way that I be pausing and just really thinking and looking at my work and what is going on is because I'm trying to envision already done and already like the baby hair is already mapped out if that makes sense and I'm looking at this picture eyeballing it so I can really mimic what's going on because I can I know how many hairs that girl whoever did that hair I know I can feel how much hair she took out and how much hair she had out okay because that's exactly what I'm going for so I'm just being really extremely focused on what I'm doing and I'm perfecting this part a little bit more and yeah y'all I just want to like let y'all know that this is really art to me. Like, I don't be fucking around. Like, excuse my language. I know some of y'all don't like the cussing, but I do not be fucking around. Like, I really like to make sure that my hair is going to... I'm going to fall in love. I want to love my hair when it's done. And since, like I said, 
in that clip before like it's been so long since i did my hair i wanted to make sure i gave y'all a 10 out of 10 top tier side part install okay but yeah y'all moving on to my sideburns and honestly like yeah i pulled them out right here but i'm going to re-pull them out after i do my other side like redraw them out because the thing is i don't know what it is but the left side of my baby hair is be looking better especially my sideburn i don't know it just looks better so yeah i'm going to like redo that but yeah y'all that's what we're doing here we're just getting these baby hairs right and tight left side since it's going to be covered up most of the time i don't put in the same amount of effort i mean i still do what i need to do but i just don't put in as much effort as the side that's going to be shown so i'm noticing that i have a little bit too too much hair is pulled out so i'm just taking some and pulling those back so it can just look a little bit more cohesive with the left side and all together and i'm just pulling these out it's not going to be that difficult on the left side. It never is for me. I don't know why. I don't know why. But yeah, how coming that so they can lay really flat once it's time to do the baby hairs? Because I'm not going to put my band on for a third time. Y'all, this install took three hours and 30 minutes. So I did not feel like letting that band sit for another 10, 20. I don't, I didn't, I didn't care how long. I just did not want that band on my head again. So yeah, I wanted to really take my hot comb and press these hairs out really, really well. To make sure that they were flat because yeah the third melt that i usually do wasn't happening today to cut these baby hairs down i'm taking that same razor i was using before and i'm just shaving these hairs off right in front of my eyebrow like right in front of my eyebrow where my eyebrow starts is where i start to cut off the baby hairs if that makes sense and they were looking like a good length to me which that is usually what happens when i'm just make sure to cut it right in front of my eyebrow for the third time but yeah y'all doing that same thing on the left side and then i wanted my side burns to be a little bit longer because i noticed like i said from looking at my old videos i like how my installs look more when my sideburns are a little bit longer and have like a curl fluff to them i'm taking my tweezers and i'm just plucking out a little bit of hairs just so it can look more natural slightly okay really really slightly i'm taking my half inch pro kiss flat iron and i'm curling them in two sections this hairstylist myla slays on instagram shout out to her i love her work she does her baby hairs like curls them in two sections and i love the way that they come out on her clients and on herself so i did that method and i've done this before and i like how that comes out so i'm gonna start doing this y'all because it just gives the baby hairs a more fluffy look and i'm just showing you guys the plethora of products that i can choose from when it comes to doing my baby hairs i can use foam i can use got to be glue using the foam and the gorilla snot or spritz and today i wanted to use spritz for the look that i was going for so yeah we are using the icy pantasia spritz in that green bottle and i just spray that onto the hair smooth that out i don't place it all the way onto the hair but directly in the front of the baby hairs i spray it and then i smooth it out with the comb side of my edge brush and like the picture that i was looking at while doing my baby hairs i wanted to make sure that all the hairs were kind of combing into one and cohesive with the rest of the hair on the wig and not just sitting in the front if that makes sense so i'm making sure, make well mashing like come on now <laughs> y'all i want y'all to try making voiceovers one day and i tell you if you stutter this is just going to make you stutter 10 times worse i took some more of that icy pantasia spray though to ensure that this was being molded down and to collect the hairs better if that makes sense because it was kind of drying down a little bit so i just added some more product so i can firmly mold them together and they was looking good i'm like okay we're getting somewhere but they still need to be pushed into this hair 
a little bit more so i'm just swooping using my finger a lot okay as soon as i started i started using my finger okay because when you just it's something about it when you use your finger as well as the comb or the brush whatever your preference is it really just molds everything and it just gives you better control with it okay and i was like yeah right, we did that but yeah i'm taking my combs out of my edge brush on my um sideburns and i'm just being really delicate with this i'm just being really delicate because i noticed when i try too hard with my big hairs i don't like how they come out so i'm just doing what i know how to do best doing the regular techniques using my finger using the combs out of the edge brush and just swooping swooping in a c motion pushing it towards my face and then giving it a little curl, a little fluff at the end so it can just look a little bit snazzy, you know, professional. <laughs> My blow dryer on a warm setting and smoothing it out with my finger to make sure that this spritz is really held into place and that it's not going to move anywhere because with using spritz it's, it's super wet so it can be hard to not make it stick up so i make sure to blow dry it in place so that it's firmly down and i'm just repeating the same steps on this left side here It's something about a pushed back look in front of the hair where the baby hairs are. I don't know what it is. I just love, especially with curls, okay? So I'm just taking my comb and pushing that spritz back and then I'm going to blow dry it to get it set in place. But yeah, it just adds a little extra oomph to the look. I feel like it makes it look like a celebrity stylist did my hair. <laughs> Um, I'm taking my Sebastian hairspray and my hot comb to really make sure that this hair is flat to the T, okay? Like, super flat. Growing out the skin, growing out the scalp, that's the vibe that we want to give. So, taking some hairspray and your hot comb, it's going to have a little sizzle, sizzle to it, but that's okay. That's what you want. So, yeah, I'm just doing this to make everything look flat and like one of the final steps and touches here doing that extra doing the extras just going the extra mile to make your install look perfect to not a sin. This last and final step isn't 110% necessary, but I like to do it to bring everything together. So I'm taking a lighter concealer and I'm just applying that with a small makeup brush and cleaning up the part to make it look put together. That's really the only reason why I'm doing this, to make it look put together. I drag it through, drag it through, smooth it out, and boom, that's what we have. This is the end of the look. I hope you learned something from this. Make sure to check the description box for all the information on this hair and information on me. You got to make sure y'all follow me on TikTok because I'll be going live and Instagram because I'll be posting bomb flicks and talking my shit. So y'all make sure y'all follow me. But yeah, shout out to Mega Look Hair for sponsoring this video. Y'all have to make sure to check out this pretty ass color and i will see you guys in my next video bye